Welcome, 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 folks, to the Mastermind Show. This is Mastermind speaking, a.k.a. Elijah the Great. Today, folks, we're going to be playing something weird. I'm not even sure what to expect out of this game. It's going to be uh, the Stanley Parable. Uh, I'm not sure what it's really about or... You know, I just... A little puzzled at this one, so let's just go right on into it and see what we can do. Let's see, let's go ahead and... Alright, everything's okay here. Let's go ahead and begin the game. The end is never the end, is never the end, is floating. <laughs> Ever the end. While this loads, I might have to turn my computer around a little bit so I can see better. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while this is loading. That should be a little better. Looks like it's almost there. Come on, load. Loading screen, come on now. <laughs> I was going to try to play some 8-bit uh, boy. That's a, like, Mario kind of game. Uh, and what happened is, uh, it won't record. It won't record the screen for some reason. It, it used to. I don't know why it's not recording now. I mean, I changed some settings. I got some, had some settings changed. Uh, my my buddy DM, you know he he changed some settings there, but I don't think that. This is the story that. of a man named Stanley. Okay. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company, 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 had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, I guess this is my cue to move. <laughs> so, let's 
Oh, okay. You gotta use the clicker. Alright. We'll look around. How do you... Alright. Let's see here. Go through this open door. Won't let me in that one. Well, let me in that one. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. None of these doors. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's try to write. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> oh, wait Look, Stanley, a minute. I think perhaps we've got... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Okay, maybe I should have followed directions. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's try that again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, here we go. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Read what's on the bottom. Let me see here. Hmm, the broom closet. Let's see, resume the game. Alright, we'll go up this way. I 
thing is... Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs, okay. This must be the boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 28. Four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Three, four, five. Two, eight, four, five. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two, two eight, eight, four, four five. five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. <laughs> the door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. I wonder if it's really going to do it. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I don't see where there's any death in here. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's the hole. We ain't going there. We still got waiting. We still got a chance to get out of here, I think. But of 
of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. All right, let's go in here. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. Lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Cool. Now what? <laughs> This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Uh oh. chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, 
he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. I think we just beat the game, folks. There's so much more mysteries to, you know, it's like a, little, a lot more puzzles, it seems. I have to keep playing it over and over and s see what else you can find out, you know. That, that, I, I'm really interested in this game. It kind of, that was kind of cool. I wonder what it's going to load. Is it going to load the credits or what? <laughs> it's loading something. Loading, loading, loading. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Loading, loading, loading. It's going to load something. Oh, we're right back here. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright, folks. That's going to be it for now. Uh, I want everybody to go ahead and have yourself a very blessed day. Or a very blessed night. And I'll see you in the next video